Also in Fresno County, two people dead after officials say a car crashed into a semi truck. The California Highway Patrol investigating that fatal crash. It happened this afternoon. Officials do not believe weather was a factor. CBS 47's Juanita Adame talked with neighbors who shared concerns over the intersection. Today's accident on North and DeWolf Avenues claimed two lives, and neighbors who live in the area say fatal accidents there are a common occurrence, and something needs to be done. It was just after 1.30 Saturday afternoon when Carson Smith, who lives near North and DeWolf Avenues, heard the accident. I mean, I was, I was in the shower, and I, you could just hear a big boom. And then I just started hearing helicopters and a bunch of sirens. When he walked outside to see what happened, he just knew it was bad. I came out here and sure enough, there was a helicopter landed and probably about four or five cops with a bunch of fire trucks. CHP Sergeant Christopher Swamberg said the two people in the sedan, a man and a woman, possibly in their 20s, were killed on impact. Uh, the freight liner was traveling east on North Avenue and the Nissan Altima was stopped at the stop sign for DeWolf. Uh, for unknown reasons, the driver of the Altima edged out into the intersection and then right, into, right in front of the freight liner. The intersection is currently a two-way stop. And Smith said it's not the first time someone has died there. Same spot. It was almost kind of the same situation. It was it was another fatal crash, and they had the helicopter and everything. This isn't the first traffic collision that's happened here. There's a VW emblem over there. Uh, I don't believe this was part of this collision. So there's there's been probably a couple of collisions in this intersection. Schmidt said changes need to be made to that deadly intersection. It's just sad. I mean, they need to put a four-way stop right here because there's just been too many crashes and. Sad to see. The California Highway Patrol does not believe drugs or alcohol played a role in today's crash. Reporting in Fresno, Juanita Adamas, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.